Hi and welcome back to part number two. So in the last video we have grabbed the data for the first product and now it's time to write a for loop so we can extract the data for all products inside the first page. Okay, so this is right now the next requirement. First of all, I want to create five different empty lists. Okay, so for each data point, we want to have an empty list and we can make our life simpler by just copy here everything, copy that, go back down, paste it here. And now make sure you remove all the hyphens. Okay. And now we can create our empty lists and you can't also have this empty spaces. So remove it and replace it with a simple underscore. Okay. This, this, and this one. And now let's create our lists. Then it looks like this. Okay. So this is the convention of creating an empty list with the name product title. Okay. Now let's copy this one and paste it everywhere here. The idea behind it looks like this. Now we want to loop through all list elements. Okay. And we want to append our data points like we did it here for the first product inside the appropriate list. That's it. Okay. Now we need to write our for loop. So let's use one iteration variable. It's result. Okay. So this is right now again, our iteration variable. And we want to loop through the result items, which is this list here. And this contains actually all the 27 products of the first page. Okay. So copy that back down, paste it here. And now what we want to do is we want to append each and every data point to the appropriate list. Okay. Let's do this. We start with the product title. And also here, don't forget to comment it product title. So what we need to do is we want to append the data to the product title list. Okay. Product title dot append. And again, we start with this iteration variable. So it's result. Now we can scroll up and let's see how we worked here. So the product title was this one. And since we have used to work with the first item just with the one product. We can actually ignore this one and copy everything here. Okay. So this part is actually necessary for us. Copy that, go back down, paste it here. Okay. Paste it here. That's it. And now let's just run it for this product title list. And I want to show you how this actually behaves. Okay. So run it and then let's output the product title after we have run our for loop here. So it's the product title and you see here that now we are able to see all 27 different product titles all inside this list here. Okay. Let's make a cross check and use the length function. And again, voila, we have 27 results. That's it. And if you want to make a cross check, feel free to do this by just opening up the website. Okay. And cross check everything you see here. That's it. So next we have the price. Okay. And the logic will be right now the same. Again, the major work was already done in the last video. So in case you didn't see the last video, please make sure you take a look at this. Otherwise, maybe it will be hard to follow along. Okay. Now we have the price and we want to append the price points inside this new created empty list. Okay. So it's price dot append. Okay. We start again with the iteration variable and then we scroll up and we want to copy this part here. Control C, go back down, control V, paste it here. And that's it. Next we have the brand. Okay. And we want to append everything inside the brand list here. Okay. So brand dot append result. Then I scroll up and it's this part we need to copy. Control C, go back down, paste it here. Next we have the average rating. OK, 
Okay, that means average rating dot append. We start again with the result iteration variable, and then we need to copy this part. So copy that, go back down, paste it here. And the last data point is the rating count. Okay, it's the rating count. That means we want to append our data to this rating count list. So rating count dot append. We start with the iteration vari variable, and then we need to scroll up and copy this part here. Control C, go back down, paste it here. And now let's see if this actually works. Okay, so, and now you see that this actually failed and I need to take a look what went wrong here. Okay, now I understand why we have this error here. So, not in every product we have access to the rating information, okay? This is actually why we have right now this key error. That just means not in every product we have access to this key. That's it. And how we can actually manage it, we have different possibilities. But in this video or in this tutorial, I will just go ahead and work with the try and accept block, okay? So every time you work with the try and accept block, this actually means that we try to find something, okay? We would try to target an element, to want to extract this data point, okay? We try it, and if this doesn't work, we just want to leave it blank, like this, okay? So it's just the meaning of, okay, we try to do something, if it doesn't work, please, we don't want to have an error message, just leave it as it is, okay? And this, in quotes, leave it as it is, we want to append just nothing to this list, okay? So let me just show you how this can look like. So we try to find this expression. If this doesn't work, we use the accept block and inside the accept block, we just want to add to the product title list, just nothing, okay? Just an empty string and this looks like this. So I hope this was somehow clear. If not, please let me know in the comment section. Again, we try to target this one. If this doesn't work or if let's say one key is not available here or one part of the expression is not available, we want to append an empty string to this particular element. This is it. And this I want actually to apply for all the remaining data points. So actually try to get the price. If this doesn't work, just do or just append an empty string. Okay. So price dot append. And here we have the empty string. Same applies to the brand. Try this to append something to the brand. If this does not work, please apply or append just an empty string. So brand dot append empty string. Okay, same applies for this one. Try average rating except average rating dot append an empty string and you see here sometimes it's just repetitive task but this is actually right now very useful otherwise we can't proceed here okay try and accept rating count dot append empty string okay and now i hope that this works so let's run the cell let's see and okay, now I have a typo in line 31. Let's see, okay, append 1D, not double D. Okay, remove it. Let's run it again. Okay, now we don't have an error message anymore. Okay, and this was actually the result of the last one. Let's just cut it out. And in the next step, I want to append this result to a pandas data frame this was actually what i told you in the beginning when we have imported this library here before we want to sort the data inside an excel file we want to see how this data is actually looking like okay and here pandas is always a good way so 
let's just think about one variable let's say it's just target underscore df because df stands for data frame and here i can use the pandas alias it's pd then we have the data frame okay and now we need to work with keys and values because this is a dictionary and here i start with oh let's just make life simple okay so double click here copy that and inside the key i can just paste it and inside the value i also will paste the same but here i don't want to use the quotes because this one will be the column name and inside this column name we want to append this list okay which was created first of all here and then inside this empty list we have appended all the product titles of the first page that's it next one we have the price double click on price paste it here this is our key value and also our value so this is the key this is the value okay next one is the brand copy that paste it here this is the key and the brand list is the value afterwards we have the average rating copy this paste it here and average rating is the list and the value of this key value pair and finally we have the rating count double click copy this paste it here colon paste it again and now let's see how or what we get so run the cell we don't have an error message now let's open up this target data frame run this cell and voila you see that now we have all our 27 results again we start counting from zero and then we have 26 that means 27 results and now you see directly why we had our error message because not for each and every product we have the ratings okay and this is what i meant when i tried to um, introduce you to the try and accept block that means if we don't have any information for the average rating or rating count just put an empty string you also could say okay please put not available or n slash a or something but it doesn't matter okay it's up to you and you see that now this is at least our data frame for the first page that's it so now in the next step actually right now we can append oh sorry i'll put it in the excel file but i think it makes more sense if we do this after we have scrapped multiple pages and i also would say that now i can make a cut again and in the next video we are going to scrape the um, products of multiple pages okay that's it i would say stay tuned and i see you directly in the next part bye bye